Hello folks, this is build video number six of my conversion of a Honda VF500 motorcycle to an electric. Today I have some uh, new battery layouts for the bike. So when we last left, I had been mocking up batteries using cardboard and came up with a configuration, all, batter, all of the batteries in a vertical configuration where there were 30 in the frame, here's a picture of it, here's another picture with the fairing, show, trying to get an idea of how it would look with the fairing if, and if the fairing would fit. Here is a picture straight on showing the, the locations of the batteries. And then this is a shot showing with them labeled. You can see that there are three packs of six and four packs of three making for 30 batteries. So with 30 batteries in the frame, the final six had to go somewhere. I had always planned on putting them in a saddlebag configuration. This is kind of suboptimal. So I took a look around on the net a little bit more at some of the more professional electric bikes and found a couple. In particular, there's a guy named Justin on Elmodo.net, and this is one of his bikes. Um, you notice that the batteries are some vertical, some horizontal, and I figured I could give that a shot too. I was able to take the battery pack labeled E and turn it sideways and then put two underneath it that were also sideways. Um, and then hopefully this will get ground clearance and I was able to uh, look through the, uh, the frame and also mock up the fairings. It's pretty, pretty messy at this point. I had also, um, I've also been working on the computer because it's been kind of crappy around here. Uh, so I haven't been able to work on the bike very much. So I drew up the batteries in Illustrator, and here's the first picture, um, the first diagram of the 30 batteries, and then here's the second diagram, uh, using, see, looking at the batteries, th all 36 batteries in the frame. Um, this was pretty cool. It looks like it fits, but I was kind of guessing on the frame, copying some pictures and whatnot. So... I was saying that I wish I knew had could do this in CAD. So um, during one sleepless night when uh, baby woke up and I couldn't go back to sleep, I checked out Google SketchUp, um, which is a 3D program from Google, obviously, and initially came up with a battery uh, diagram. It took me a little while to figure out how to do it and came up with a battery diagram that looks like this. You can see it's a uh, to scale, 61 millimeters, 150 millimeters, 212. It doesn't show it on the picture, but it's 215 to the top of the terminals. Um, Google SketchUp is pretty cool, and that'll let you do animations. And so here's a bit of an animation showing um, the single battery, and then a pack of three, um, and then a pack of six. These are the two configurations that I'm planning on using, mainly threes and sixes. Um, then this is a pack of 36, so this is the full layout for the bike. Um, you can see that there's a whole bunch of space in between them. The batteries, I believe, get hot, and it's good to have a little bit of ventilation in between. Um, here's the battery tray or a battery frame that I've got in SketchUp. I'm not quite sure this is totally it. I actually mocked this one up with uh, leaving some spaces for nuts and bolts, but I think I may end up having to weld it because it may be too tight. Um, here's a picture of, of the bike that's to scale, uh, and here's an extrusion of the internal frame, which is hopefully to scale. I did some measurements, although I'm not quite sure how good I am with SketchUp. Um, and here's the batteries, the frame inside, the battery tray inside the motorcycle frame. This is showing that it's, man, it's really tight in a couple of places. Um, one thing that's not on here is the brake pedal, which may actually be in the way, the battery may get in the way, so that may be a bit of an issue as well. This is why welding it may make the frame just that much smaller, which would make everything fit. Um, finding places to mount the battery frame to the motorcycle frame is going to be interesting. I'm still trying to figure that one out as well. But you can see here that there's... Uh, the, the three sets of six stick all the way out through the frame and uh, the, hopefully the fairings, which I don't have mocked up in SketchUp, will, you'll be able to see uh, that the, they'll be covered up by the fairings, but they at least are able to give me some more batteries in the frame. In any case, that's pretty much it for this, this episode. Um, thanks very much, and I will uh, talk to you soon. Hopefully next time we'll have a little bit more physical work done on the bike. Like maybe I'll have the gas tank cut out or I'll uh, lay electrical torn out and then I'll be able to scrub the frame down. 
Okay, have fun. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.